Minor League Baseball is just one step away from playing baseball on the world's biggest stage. For those who make it that far in a baseball career, it's definitely something to be proud of. But how about their paychecks? We mean, we all know of the millions those dudes in the major league make, so it'd be nice to see how the minor league baseball players fare as well. Minor league baseball isn't new to any baseball fan. Maybe you don't know the details about how the league is run, but you've definitely heard about the MILB. Nearly every player in the MLB today passed through this league before becoming your favorites. The MILB is really a ground where some dreams go to die, while others come fully alive. Some players are able to get all the necessary professional experience to flourish in the MLB, while others spend years on end in the minor league without ever getting that major league baseball call-up. But one thing that remains is that baseball in the MILB is almost as professional as you can find anywhere worldwide. The league's divided into 14 smaller leagues organized into five classes, AAA, AA, High A, Single A, and Rookie. And if you guessed, you guessed right. That order is actually the order of competition and acclaim of the leagues. In those 14 leagues, there are 206 teams in operation. Many people don't know this, but the teams aren't only in the U.S. That's right, there are some in the Dominican Republic and some in Canada as well. Oh, you should also know that 120 of these teams are affiliated with at least one MLB team through a systematic professional development license. All this is just to give you a little peep into what is sometimes complex and maze-like world of the MILB. It's a lot like the MLB, to be fair. As much as uh, there are affiliates of the big boys in the MLB, minor league baseball teams have sponsorships, they have radio and television broadcast rights, they also have their own streaming media, among others. You might not believe it, but watching the MILB, you'll even hear big names you're familiar with, at least if you pay attention to high school and college baseball. You might just hear your favorite high school sluggers' names during a minor league game. However, one thing separates Major League Baseball players from those in the minor league. Not their skill or ability on the diamond, but how much they earned from playing baseball. That's right, we're talking about the money that comes in from swinging bats all day, and the gap between these two calibers of players is uh, rather wide. Note that we're not talking about endorsement earnings and bonuses, nah. We mean the uh, sole base salary they're contracted to earn on a weekly basis. For a bit of context, let's just briefly see what MLB players' earnings are like. After all, it's a comparison. By the 2022-23 season of Major League Baseball, the average salary in the league was $4.41 million. That's really impressive, but it shouldn't be a surprise, really, given that baseball is one of the most watched sports in the world, and the MLB is the biggest stage of the game anywhere worldwide. What might come as a surprise is the earnings of the bigger players, like New York Mets ace Max Scherzer, who is the league's highest earner with a whopping annual salary of $43.3 million. The likes of Justin Verlander and Aaron Judge also make tons of cash in salaries from the MLB. But that's not all. It would also interest you to know that the MLB's minimum player salary is at $700,000. You heard that right. Even the not-so-good player who manages to make it to the major league will earn nothing less than $700,000 a year. Given the average salary of U.S. citizens is less than $60,000, that's more than decent living. Looking at these impressive numbers for major league players, quickly think of a figure for what you think the average annual salary of minor league baseball players will be. Done that? If yes, then just know you're probably wrong because those dudes earn less than you pictured. You're probably wondering how we're sure of that? No, it's not a mind trick. It's not a gamble. It's not even us being telepathic. It's simply because minor league baseball players earn so low, no one would guess just how low it is. You want exact numbers? We'll give you the exact numbers. As of the 2022-23 baseball season, the average salary of any and every MILB player falls between $4,800 and $14,700 per week. Maybe 
<laughs> no. Per month? Nah. That's right. Annually. Believe it or not, that's all MILB players get to take home from their time out on the diamond after a full calendar year. It's money, right? It never does sound as bad as it is until you run a contextual comparison, so check this out. By the same time the average earnings of the MLB and MILB players were made, the minimum wage for any worker in the United States of America is... $15,080. This means that the federal minimum wage is $7.50. You don't even have to be good at math to tell there's a wide gap between these values and what most MILB players earn. Here's a full breakdown of how it goes. For players in the rookie leagues in the MILB, their weekly earnings have a maximum of $400. For single A or class A players, it's between $290 and $500 per week. For double A, it's between $350 and $600. While for the triple A players, eh, it's from $502 to $700. For residents of the U.S. and Canada that can be drafted, the amateur signing minor league contracts are around $20,000, with signing bonuses included. The most recent first-round picks received $7,922,000 to $1.8 million, and the top 75 received at least $747,500. For international amateur free agents from other nations, only 43 got the highest bonuses, which amounted to as much as a million. That's a bit of a detailed breakdown, but the main figures to work with are in the $4,800 to $14,700 range. Not gonna lie, earning below minimum wage is nothing less than a travesty. Be you a waiter or a daycare attendant, you shouldn't be getting paid less than the minimum wage. How much more a set of the most hardworking athletes in the world? Oh yeah, we said that because it's true. MILB players are grafters and grinders. Where do we start? It is the toughness of the climate and pitch conditions that we have to play on, or the painfully unpredictable playing roster, or maybe even the cramped up bus rides for miles and players must take to get to away games. Experiencing all these while still getting used to what actual pro baseball feels like, it's not talked about enough. Minor league baseball players really put in the work, but all for what? For pennies on a dollar? But how did the league even get as bad as paying below minimum wage? Well, over the years since the establishment of both major and minor league baseball circuits, the MILB has been underpaid. That's very understandable given the minors don't generate as much revenue as major leagues. However, it wasn't until 2018 that things got this bad. And this move was made in broad daylight, with the whole world watching as the paradoxical Save America's Pastime Act was passed. This act passed a law that exempts baseball players from federal minimum wage and overtime pay. How this law even got as far as being voted for is a matter of mm, for another day. But the fact was that there were actually MLB owners lobbying Congress for this act to be passed makes things crazier. In some books, it was more of bribery and corruption than it was lobbying. Point is, a law was successfully passed to make MILB players earn just a few thousand dollars despite all their grind. Sure, some AAA players spend their time making money from other places and bumping up their salaries to a $100,000 plus range, but for the other minor league players in the rookie league and even those in the AA who don't get that chance, the pay from the MILB is far from enough. The only solace for MILB players is to work even harder to be able to get that big move to the major league. Everyone knows how well you'll get paid when you get to the MLB, so for most, that's the one thing they hold on to. Other than that, most players have to hold on to the meager health care bonuses, tuition assistance, housing, and meals they get during the season. But even that's hardly enough. Author, broadcaster, and former pitcher for the San Diego Padres and Toronto Blue Jays, Dirk Von Hayhurst, who spent years in the minor league, has shared stories of just how hard it was to get by. You would believe it was a movie plot for how people suffered during the Great Depression, only it wasn't that. Neither was it. Gotham, it was the real experience in still is the experience of minor league baseball players. According to Hayhurst, some guys would sneak off before games ended to get a head start on meals and eat more than their rationed amount. At one time, the whole team had to contribute to gathering enough money for their shortstop to travel home after the birth of his child. Dang. Former Pittsburgh Pirates third baseman Hunter Owen also shared his experience in the minor league, saying, I saw people who were very good ballplayers forced into retirement because they couldn't afford to play minor league baseball. 
One guy was a hell of a first baseman and hit 15 or 16 home runs in high A. He had to retire the next year because he was getting married and his life was moving on. It's a huge bummer to see, especially with a guy like that with a lot of talent. Things got that bad and are still that hard for minor league players because of how little they make. There are a few organizations and bodies like More Than Baseball that have put in demands and petitions for minor league players to get them a minimum salary of $35,000 per year. Their cause has also been supported by Senators Bernie Sanders and Josh Becker, which is impressive progress. Hopefully, they get through to the powers that be. Why? Because minor league baseball is the grassroots and the foundation of baseball, America's pastime. If the roots are allowed to wither or rot, it'll eventually bring down the whole body. We don't want to see major league baseball go down, and we're pretty sure you don't want to see it either. So we wait and hope for a change. If you enjoyed this video about how much money do minor league baseball players make, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.